Yeah, hey everyone, welcome back. So I wasn't planning on doing this video this week, but a couple of weeks ago, I had a little bit of a jam with ChatGPT um, to see if I could design an, a fuzz pedal. And um, if you don't know already, my wife and I started a company building effects pedals way back in um, 2008. So if you're interested in checking those out, I'll put some links in the description. I've been designing fuzz and uh, overdrives and distortions for, uh, for quite a few years now. And I thought it'd be really interesting to see what chat GPT could do. Anyway, my first attempt was pretty much nothing really happened. Nothing came from it. Um, it was a bit of a bit of a waste of time, really. I thought about it for a couple of weeks, and it really came back to how I was interacting with ChatGPT to get the information I needed. So, when you uh, ask ChatGPT to make a schematic of something, it kind of comes up like this: just a whole bunch of random. Um, well, it doesn't sort of make sense to me anyway, this style of, however it's making this schematic, it makes zero sense. So what I've decided to do is work with ChatGPT to like work out where all the components are connected. And then as we go, I draw out my schematic myself, that one that actually made sense. So I went through a whole bunch of different revisions. Um, most of them were fairly generic. Um, I was asking for an original fuzz design, so nothing that he, he could just lift or she could just lift from um, somewhere else on the internet. And we got to revision six and then something kind of happened. There was definitely a change in how it had created the circuit. And it was something that I could tell from the component values and by how the layout was being described that it was just something a bit different. So I started to explore that, went through the whole massive long procedure of working out what the heck it was going on about and drew out a schematic. The next step was just to build it and see if it would work. So now it is time to test this guy out and just see what it sounds like. I've buzz tested it, so I've checked um, that it's actually working. The fuzz, it does work. The tone control seems to be doing some tone stuff and the volume works, so it is going. I just don't really know yet what it sounds like um, with guitar running through it, so let's just check it out. Hey, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. If you like this sort of content, I'm gonna be making lots more of this sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, okay, let's test this thing. It's actually pretty good. How much fuzz we got? Oh!
That's a good tone. That's a really nice tone there. That's a cool sound. So that's a dry, kind of fattens it. massive range there of fuzz actually so quite pretty much almost clean through this pretty brutal sort of quite hard out sort of seriously super super surprised the fuzz control on this is like really unique and i've never seen one implemented in this way so it changes three things it changes your input impedance it changes the bias of the first transistor stage and it also changes the amount of audio that gets through to that first stage if i want to simplify that into something real it's it's changing the texture of the fuzz it's changing the amount of fuzz saturation and it's also altering the eq curve of the fuzz all on one control while you turn it. So you get a lot of different, it feels quite different depending on how much, where it's sitting. Like it's quite compressed at the lower, at the lower levels that you can feel like a compression. Really, really good. S freaking scarily good. Tone control is pretty generic, but good. Covers a good range. There's like heaps of volume. I'm actually driving the amp pretty hard. Far out. That's seriously impressive. Okay, so <laughs> so obviously it worked. It sounded freaking awesome um, as far as I'm concerned. I've built a lot of fuzz circuits. Uh, this one is definitely unique. It's definitely its own thing. Um, I don't, it's not something I've seen before, put it that way, and I've seen a lot of schematics and a lot of different types of fuzz pedals. Uh, especially that fuzz control, the implementation of that was really unique for me. And um, it gave some really unique results actually. Uh, so I don't know if it was just some sort of crazy cosmic fluke or or what but the schematic that it came up with on that revision six definitely was different it definitely was something that felt like it was original it's not something i've been able to repeat so i've tried to get it to make uh, distortion pedals and other 
original sort of circuitry and at this stage it's still just sort of pushing out the the stuff it was originally which was sort of a lot of stuff with a lot of errors in it and nonsensical stuff or just stuff that's just clearly been lifted from somewhere so um yeah interesting maybe a sign of things to come who knows uh but uh, yeah kind of exciting in a way maybe um i'm really surprised how good this actually sounds i was not expecting it to sound I was just hoping for a fuzz sound, nothing that actually sounded as awesome as, as what this does sound. So yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.